In the Huddle is brought to you by A-Plus Rentals. It's a new year and a new era for the Pike Central Hawks, who are now under the direction of head coach Eric Ratliff, who has previously coached for the Hawks, Eastridge, Jenkins, and led the Shelby Valley Wildcats to the state semifinals in 2014. It's going to be an emotional game, I'm sure, on both sides. Uh, you know, with, with looking at Pike Central, you always think they've got some athletes, and they've been putting you in space and throwing the ball around things. So we're still going to do that and, and get people in space, but uh, we're going to take a, a little bit of approach of trying to run the ball a bit more and take a little bit of pressure off our quarterback and allow him to throw the ball when he wants to, not when he has to. Although that we're playing really good teams, we know that we're all going to step up and have to make more leaders out of ourselves. But I'm really excited for this season, just knowing that everybody's pushed themselves way harder. And coming off a 3-8 and eight season, we know that we're going to take a step up. We hope to, uh, to bring a, a brand of football that's uh, exciting, of course, so the fans can come out and watch and things like that. But, you know, we want to try to be more physical than we have been last year, and it all starts up front. And trying to put our best kids out there and, and figuring out where they need to be to put them in the best position to, uh, to play better and win football games. We can't give up. Last year, if we got down, we just give up and everybody quit trying. We can't do that. We have to get after it. We got to go and keep trying and work our way back until we will actually do something and change the season around. Well, you know, we hope that uh, everyone will come out and watch us play. We hope we put something on the field that they'll be proud of. Uh, we want to play hard for four quarters, uh, no matter what the score is. And, and, you know, we're getting better each and every day. I've seen that since I've been here. I've been waiting all year for Friday Night Lights to come back. Like, I just want to get out there and do my best for my brothers and for my community, and hopefully everybody will come out and support us. Reporting from Buckley's Creek, for EKB News, I'm Chris Atkins.